Welcome to the show, everybody. Ben Mankiewicz, Rick Strom, uh, producing the fine program. Rick, how you doing? Hello, Ben. Hello, Ben. <laughs> so we're doing this segment called uh, Twathletes. It's very successful. Still to be good named. responses to it. The uh, tweets of athletes, sometimes they're ridiculous. Sometimes I have no idea what they're saying. And then uh, some athletes like uh, Brandon Phillips of the Cincinnati Reds uh, using them for good. So Logan Morrison of the uh, Florida Marlins, he's been uh, tweeting like crazy. What does he have? How many followers he has? He have uh, Rick? he has over twenty eight thousand. Yeah. So he's got a lot of followers. He has uh, Lomo. Is that his uh, handle? Lomo Marlins. Lomo Marlins. Get it? Like Logan Morrison. Lomo. Yeah. I, everybody's got it. I think. Thanks for explaining it. I was um, curious if you got so, it. <laughs> so Lomo Marlin, uh, he's got the president of the Marlins, David Sampson. Very worried. Very very worried. Samson says that he's not a dinosaur, uh, but he's not thrilled about all the tweets that uh, Logan Morrison is engaged in. He says, uh, it's scary to me. I've told Logan people are waiting for him to make a mistake. They're going to bait him on Twitter to say something inappropriate. And then he says that uh, Morrison, of course, can never take that back. Of course, people are always taking stuff back on Twitter. And then uh, Samson adding, it takes an entire career to build a reputation, only one tweet to lose that reputation. As long as he understands that, it's fine. Of course, I, I love that finish. It doesn't matter whether he understands it. It still takes only one tweet to lose the reputation. But So uh, Lomo doesn't seem to care. He tweets about uh, restaurants that are good or bad. He, he What was the restaurant? Do you remember that he tweeted about that was... Uh, no, anyway, so it was some New York restaurant... Ben that, Ash. ...that he said was horrible, that served, like, gefilte fish and... Maryland steak. crab cakes. Right. It was like it was like crab cakes and, and pancakes. <laughs> it was a bad mix. Um, Morrison says, if you don't want to follow me, don't follow me. Uh, but he tweets about sex, body parts, the Miami heat, humidity, humidity, odorous cabbies, uh, the Phillies, and the injury uh, that sidelined him in April. He's back. He's playing very well. He's the best player on the team. In just fact, everyday uh, life, you know? Huh? Just It's just about everyday life yeah, is yeah. what he's tweeting. It's fine. So far, everything's fine. He will, of course, eventually say something stupid because he's an athlete. Um, okay, so anyway, but uh, uh, so good for Logan Morris, and I'm glad he's tweeting. He's, he's not a typical athlete. That's good. But uh, plenty of athletes uh, tweet uh, moronic stuff. Uh, but some of them tweet good things like Brandon Phillips. Jermichael Finley, tight end for the Green Bay Packers, missed a lot of time last year. Uh, he's got a very nice tweet. What does, he ha what does he have to say? What does Jermichael Finley have to say there, Rick? Jermichael Finley's tweet is, who's coming out to the Donald Driver softball game charity event? It's going to be a great time. Hashtag get there. All right, good. All right, good for uh, Jermichael Finley doing a good thing. This is interesting. Tracy McGrady, uh, God bless him, uh, need assistance translating a Chinese website and setting up an account related to our Red Cross initiative. Please reach out to me if you can help. You don't see a lot of athletes asking for help translating a Chinese website. So uh, good work, Tracy McGrady. But then we get into the athletes being the athletes, um, although Ron Artest is a little funny. Uh, he's got uh, one that says, uh, that's what's up with a picture, and it has this picture. There you go. That's uh, Ron Artest taking the place of Charlie Sheen alongside John, John Cryer and the, and the kid from Two and a Half Men. Would you watch it if it was Ron Artest over Ashton Kutcher? I wouldn't watch the show in a billion years. <laughs> I've seen the show. I don't understand. You know, Jenk loves the show. Jenk thinks the show's freaking magic. I don't understand it. Uh, but uh, that's funny. God bless Ron Artest. Another tweet from Ron Artest. Damn, your breath smells like caves and cavities. <laughs> Not in response to anybody. Just something that Ron Artest thought he'd say. Uh, you thought this was funny, and I think you're right. Uh, uh, Bernard Hopkins. What does Bernard Hopkins have to say? Everybody uh, in Philly tomorrow, come <laughs> out 12 o'clock at Art Museum City. <laughs> Jesus is laughing by me. Is honoring me there. Come support me. So he left out the E in come, and he left out the G in honoring. In honoring. They honoring me. How many uh, characters did he have left here? Like 48. Yeah, he had 48 characters left, but he couldn't be bothered with the E or the G. <laughs> Too busy. Uh, Marquise Daniels. Uh, who's, do you know who Marquise Daniels is playing for now? <laughs> According to ESPN, he plays for the Kings. I thought he finished with the Celtics. All right, so uh, Marquise Daniels uh, with the uh, Sacramento Kings. All right, what's his tweet say? Just because you scream it out don't mean you know what you're talking about. Hashtag believe that. <laughs> believe that. <laughs> Come on. Believe that, Mankiewicz. Um, uh, another guy uh, we saw tweeting uh, said, I think it was on uh, Al Thornton's page, said, spelled out, 
I, like A I A A T. No, A I T E. A I T E. I. <laughs> so, so Marquis Daniels has uh, gone with the hashtag Believe That. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, and finally, the best one I think, Speedy Claxton, former NBA player, uh, Speedy Claxton, whose uh, handle is Speed Demon. What does Speedy say? If someone isn't hating on you, that means you ain't doing shit. That's right. That's right, Speedy. Words to live by. <laughs> if someone ain't hating on you, that means you ain't doing shit. Those are, that's the Rush Limbaugh credo. If people say you're a frickin' moron, that means you must be saying something right. Or it just means you're a moron.